Well, drowning is the leading cause of death for young children in the U.S. Survivors are often left with severe impairments and brain damage. For decades now, medical reporter Meg Ferris has covered families coming to New Orleans with hopes a treatment here could make even a small difference. Well, now another family has come nearly 5,000 miles. Last August, a parent's worst nightmare, a little boy learning to crawl, slipped out of his parents' view and into the pool. Shima remembers her husband's devastating words. I just remember him bringing him out of the pool and be like, that's it, it's done. Your brain just doesn't accept it. Like, you, there's nothing in life that prepares you for that moment. There was CPR. Aiden's heart stopped and started. He was on a ventilator. Doctors at the hospital in their home all the way in Casablanca, Morocco, gave him a 5% chance of living, but in a severely debilitated state. The seizures just pushed him to a vegetative state where he was tube fed for like a week. He had horrible spasticity, dystonic movements, not sleeping through the nights, not following with his eyes. Two months later on the web, Shima found our story on another toddler who nearly drowned and was treated with hyperbaric or pressurized oxygen. She called Dr. Paul Harch. He recommended to Aiden's doctors to give him special doses of bursts of nasal oxygen. I've got 10 published studies on use of just intermittent supplemental oxygen um, in various other types of traumatic brain injury, for instance, stroke. Still, the Moroccan doctors were skeptical. After the first shift session, and I'm no kidding, he was a completely different child. And the spasticity completely disappeared. And after the second session, he was tracking with his eyes. Third one, smiling. Fourth one, laughing. And then he started interacting with us. Now they've traveled more than 4,000 miles to get several weeks of pressurized oxygen treatments in Dr. Harch's tanks in Marrero. <laughs> the information is there uh, that hyperbaric oxygen has beneficial effects on injured tissue. The American Heart Association came out and endorsed hyperbaric oxygen for acute heart attacks. Her doctors told her oxygen treatments would not work. There are doctors in the U.S. who are skeptical as well. But she remembers well one doctor visit back home. His neurologist literally called all the people working in his office to come check him out. They could not believe their eyes. And the physical therapist was like, I've never witnessed such a miracle in such short time. Now the toddler who was in a vegetative state from September to October is already talking, playing with blocks, putting things in a cup, and handling his bottle on his own. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. The treatment center is in Marrero, but will be moving to Metairie in the coming weeks. Insurance usually does not pay for brain treatments. The child is getting weeks of daily treatments.